morning, everyone. My name is Jonathan Pavlich, and I am year two of confirmation here at the church. Today is the third Sunday of Advent. We continue to anticipate the arrival of Christ and prepare our hearts and minds for Jesus to save, forgive, and restore his creation. We remember the need for a Savior to redeem us from sin and brokenness. And as we prepare to welcome Christ, we light one candle each week of Advent. The scripture for this week comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 41 through 52. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. A time that God gave me joy in a hard circumstance was this past April. It was the first time I had lost a family member, my grandpa, Roger. His funeral was very emotional for me because I remembered all the memories that I had shared with him during his life. When we went to spread his ashes at a park, God gave me joy. He included fun challenges along the way, like puddles that we had to hike around in order to reach the area where we would spread his ashes. Some of my family fell into the puddles, causing us all to laugh. God gave me joy by showing that there is always something happy right around the corner. This joy helped my family to be proud of the life my grandpa Roger had and not to be sad every day because he was gone. We light this candle because joy is the great secret and gift to every child of God in Christ. Please join me in a posture of prayer. 